morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. You guys, I am down for the count. I do not feel good. Yesterday, I woke up with a tickle in my throat. My ears were draining. This ear has been bugging me for a couple of days. Well, I've got a full on earache, sore throat, sinus headache, and I feel under the weather. I called my boss yesterday afternoon and said, Jody, I'm going to have to take tomorrow off because I just don't feel good. And Harry said to me yesterday morning, he goes, you're coughing a little bit more. You know, what's going on? And I said, well, I have garbage in the back of my throat and my ears bothering me. And as the day progressed, I just went downhill. So we stayed on our regime, which was great because you guys, it was delicious and it was very satisfying for me, but I ended up sleeping most of, by the time I was done working at 3.30, I sat on the couch and woke up at six. Then I felt, woke up again at eight, right? I think we went to bed after you were done and everything was uploaded mm -hmm. about 10.30 or something like that. But I slept in till 8.30 this morning. <clears throat> Sorry. We were supposed to go to Chalice and David's tomorrow to have a delicious steak barbecue and we were all excited because we had a recipe we we're going to make and stuff and I had to call her and tell her that I really think I need to stay away from everyone. We were supposed to go see Felicia and Brad's new house. They finally got mostly moved in. I was going to take mom and I said mom you can't come over because I don't know what I have. Now I went to work last Tuesday and this Tuesday. Someone had a cold last week and one of the other people is down for the count with strep this week and we work in a pretty you know i mean we we have safety and protocol and all those things now it's also um allergy season and i usually get a really bad sinus infection um once a year or so so it could be partially that but it's more than that because my ear is bugging me too my ear and my throat are really bothering me anyway enough about me you guys Something I want to share is everything that you guys do the day before and sometimes two days prior, everything that you eat, over-the-counter medicines such as Tylenol, Tylenol PM, allergy medicine, any new meds that you're taking, maybe sometimes you change vitamins and there's something in there. Those can all <coughs> have a direct effect on your weight and water weight stall. And I started taking Tylenol because I had a little bit of an elevated temperature yesterday. Just a little bit elevated, didn't I, Harry? Mm -hmm. Started gargling, started hitting my vitamin C's hard and heavy. I took 3,000 units of vitamin C, 1,000 units in the morning, 1,000 at noon, and 1,000 at night. You should take six to I'm 10. I'm taking, uh, no, because you don't want diarrhea. Well, that's you so want to get it out of I'm your system. I'm taking zinc, I'm taking all the things, the D3, K2, this, this box here is full of vitamins and I these cups are full and we sit and eat them. So I did all that yesterday, did all the good things, but it can have a direct effect on everything. So let me share what we ended up having yesterday on our five day reset protocol. I ended up eating five of the egg custards and Harry had two. Because, no, I had one. No, you had two, you had you one and six. Harry. We had leftovers from the day before. Oh, that's right. I had that we one had leftover. leftover. We had right. that in the morning. And I had to eat that right away. Yes, so you we make... did. So got I it. Got I it. needed got your it. cup. Got it. Got it. I needed your Sorry, little don't mean to... Sorry, I don't mean to irritate you right now. <laughs> You're not irritating me, baby. You're just keeping me on track mm, with the counting. Got it? Oh, yes, because okay. we only have six ramekins. Yeah. I ended up making I the savory... I get six more. Okay. Savory chicken soup. By Keto Chow, I took one of my jars of chicken bone broth and poured that in a pan and then you put uh, two scoops of the savory uh, Keto Chow chicken soup, thinned it down just a little bit. That was so good. That was so darn tasty to me. When I was sick as a little girl, my mom would either make me the Campbell's cream of chicken or the Campbell's creamy tomato soup and that did the trick. I made scrambled eggs yesterday, which you guys saw. We each had four. It was a total of eight. Um, we had, I put al Alterna ketchup on mine. Yes, I did, because what is scrambled eggs without Alterna sweets? 
ketchup on it. Better. No. Gotta have ketchup on scrambled eggs. Got it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Harry yeah, ended up it. having both of the shakes. He had two chocolate keto chow shakes throughout the day. Um, he had two scoops of the um, Orgain collagen with six tablespoons toasted coconut almond khalifa milk. I had two scoops collagen, but I used the chocolate perfect keto. I like chocolate um, a mocha lately, and then you froth your creamer in the foamer. Ooh, man, is that good. The only thing is, and my cup's a mess by the time I'm done drinking because it changes the foam to chocolate looking. And uh, yeah. But I cleaned it out, it's all ready to go. I had six tablespoons of the Key 2 Super Creamer, which is the caramel super creamer, which is more calories. It's two tablespoons, 50 calories, I believe, or 40. Anyway, it's the super creamer, and I love it. You guys, I ended up having 8% carbs for a total of 21.3 grams, 47% fat for a total of 57.3, 45% protein for a total of 124.1 grams, so I hit my protein goal, went over it a little bit. Calories were 1,064. Harry had a total of 10% carbs for a total of 25.8 grams because he had more keto chow. Uh, keto chow has... Um, Lots of fiber in it, so I'm not worried about this. We count total carbs, so that's why you're seeing it that way. Fat was 29% for a total of 34.1 grams. 61% protein for a total of 161.6 grams of protein. Great protein day, Harry. But his calories were a little less, 1,000. Two. That's because he had the shakes instead of the custard and he didn't have the perfect keto collagen or the super creamer. And Khalifa uh, toasted coconut almond milk is for eight ounces, only 45 calories. So Yeah, well, I had the meds yesterday too. We both had meds. We both took a Tylenol. We took a Tylenol PM, you guys, and we both went up. Oh, yeah. There's right. no way we did not go off of our... Uh, reset, but we both went up. I went up two tenths of a pound. And another thing, you guys, I drank three 32 ounce containers of water. Oh, yeah. You I got drink a lot so of water. thirsty. And one of them had electrolytes in it because I just was feeling so poorly. And when I started spiking a little bit of a temperature, Marty's like, You need to be drinking water now. And he ran in here like the good nurse that he is and got me some with a squirt of meal grape in it. And I sat and drank three of those waters and I woke up twice last night and that doesn't include my coffee or my tea or anything else that I drank so I was really needing fluids yesterday and I think that happens when you uh, spike any kind of a little bit of a fever or a temperature so Harry went up four tenths because he also had Tylenol as well he's just getting over his headache he doesn't have a headache anymore but he wanted to make sure he wasn't restless. He took a Tylenol PM with me so we could both get a good night's sleep because I'm kind of hacking a little bit, coughing a little bit in my sleep. And <clears throat> that can wake people up. I'm more clearing out, I know, TMI, the drainage is what I'm doing. Anyway, you guys, the today smudge. is Spring Forward Your Weight Loss March Challenge. It is the 19th. It's a no fast day. Eat two or three meals, no snacks, collagen, lift your weights. We were um, going to be ending it, but I, because I don't feel good and the custards are so delicious and the soup is so easy for me to do, I'm going to let Harry take out a couple hamburger patties and have those. Um, no, me. no, let's wait until tomorrow. Let's wait because we are, we're up. I want to do one more whole day of the egg fast keto chow day. Let's do one more day. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Is that a pout? Is that a, is that a pouty face? I don't get no medicine. hamburger today? No, I don't. Well, you, it was a five day, not a six. Well, you know what? We're doing it because I'm sick. Please, please come along with me. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm happy to do it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the big board, Mr. Happy. Let's go. Okay. That's the stuff for Harry's eyes still. That's the receipt I got to scan in to fetch. Anyway, oh, Mr. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
No hamburgers today. It's Thursday. You get a hamburger on Friday. Okay, let's see. Let's I'm see happy the board. To oblige. To oblige. Okay, let's see the board. Come on, Harry. I don't feel good. All honey. right. Okay. Got it. I got banana. Yeah, and we went up. But look, look at the calories low. But it's the meds. Because look, we did <clears throat> we really we did really didn't eat that much. But you can no. see how Wendy and I both had meds, and uh, you know, like eight eggs. And I had five, one cup of soup, another cup of soup. That was really about it for the and day, And keto right? shakes. We oh, didn't yeah. even have oh, yeah, keto the two ice cream. I didn't put the two keto shakes down here. Oh, well, you need to put yours. Two chocolate keto yeah, shakes. I've got to do that. I did not have ice cream last night. I just wasn't, Three, I just didn't want it. shakes. Yeah. I didn't want cold. I wanted hot. Okay. There. So, you can see we went up. And... If you looked at what we ate, we shouldn't have really went up. No, we should not. Have. We should have at least at least stayed the same well, or gone down. I've been going down but, two tenths of a pound. You guys, I want banana foster egg custard today. So I've got my oven preheated. I have two cups of water in my blender. I've got four eggs. Cage-free, grass-fed Hickman eggs in here and i am not a super taster so i add a little bit more banana and then i'm going to add some sweetener so this is loran banana banana put some banana in there to make it banana -y. what you put in just a teaspoon rinse it in egg it's going to be washed i know i just no, don't no, no. Okay, I've got some English toffee, sweet drops, sweet leaf stevia. And I'm going to put some of that in. When you mix erythritol and stevia together, it kind of cancels out the coolness. So here is the amount I use. It's kind of what the dropper sucks up. So I am, think I'm going to start with a tablespoon of the brown sugar. I'm going to put some brown sugar on top, too. I just want that brown sugar. Ooh, goodnessy taste. Caramelized taste. Ooh. That is going to caramelize on top. I'm going to try to make creme brulee topping when this is done. Oh, really? Yeah. It may or may not work. We'll see. That'll be interesting. I got one package of Keto Chow Banana. And you know what? I'm going to put some skinny syrup. Excuse me. I'm just going to put some skinny syrup in it just to even out the sweetness. So I'm just going to put a teaspoon of skinny syrup in here. And this is the Vanilla Caramel Cream. That's stuff you put on. Uh, this is what I've been putting on the yeah, top. Yeah, man. I, first, I started with the salted caramel, and I ran out. I want to taste this, though. Let me get a spoon. How's your taster doing today? I don't know. I don't know because I have a sore throat and an earache. I don't know if it's going to, if I'm going to taste, if my taster is off. So that swerve is not as sweet as regular swerve or my taster's off a little bit. So let me see. It needs more of everything. Might be you, but go ahead, because you're the one who, you know. Well, I'm going to get some, some regular uh, swerve here. Excuse me, confectioner swerve. And you guys, please taste yours, because I don't have a very good taster for sweets. And my taster today may be just all fouled up because I have... Uh, eye, ear, nose, and throat issue and not feeling well today. I'm just going to use a tablespoon, just a tablespoon of Swerve Confectioner sugar. And I'm going to put a little bit more, just a couple more drops of sweet drops in it. 
Okay. Now, let's try this again, shall we, folks? Let me get another spoon for tasting because mm -hmm. I already tasted in that spoon. And because I'm sick, I don't want to mess with germs. Man, am I losing my taste? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to have, well, you're gonna have to have a taste. Okay. I'm not sure. Because I'm just not getting any sweet, and that's, I put tons of sweet in here, so. Yeah, it's, it's got some sweet taste to it. Some? Yeah, it's got but, sweet so taste it's to not, it. No, it's, it's not. No, it's sweet enough, but you know, I don't think you need to put very much more in there. If you want to put some more in there, go ahead. You taste know, the banana? Me? Yeah, I taste the banana. Well, that's what I taste, too, is the banana. Okay. She's thinking... What shall I do? What shall I do? Well, I don't want to overdo because I'm just not having a good tasting day today. Well, you're, you know. And I'm not feeling well, and I have a sore throat, and I have an earache, and so it could be that. I don't want you to go, oh, Wendy, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, so. The thing I noticed about the custard is you almost have to a little bit over flavor it because for some reason the eggs just um, quiet down the taste. Well, you always have. So yeah. we'll, well, since you started doing this anyway. So I just fill up my custard cup. And do you guys notice I'm not spraying any spray on my custard cups or anything? For some reason, nothing sticks, huh, Marty? Yeah. I didn't even think about it the first time I made them and I thought, oh my gosh, these are gonna stick, but they don't. Not enough to do anything with. That way we're saving on fat. I will. Now, I want to sprinkle a little bit of, I trade you places, I need to get my cinnamon. I like a little bit of cinnamon. How are you going to try a top on this? I don't think you got the room I'm going to, but it's not going to go on yet. You do it at the end with our little mini torch. You brown it. No torch. Yeah, why? There's no fuel in it. What do you mean there's no fuel in it? I haven't been fueling that thing for years. Well... Yeah, you can't put that swerve on top because it'll sink to the bottom. So, okay. Water, hot water. Watch your steam, it'll steam up the lens. And that chicken soup I had yesterday, keto chow chicken soup, was yummy. I'm having that again today. It was so good on my throat. It felt just so nice, you know? And again, it's what, 350 degrees? 350 degrees for 30. Four minutes. Four minutes. There we go. Now I'll make it 33 now. There we go. I will clean up this little bit of mess. It's so easy, you guys, and this stuff is so delicious. It's so good. Warm. Oh, that's my favorite way to eat it. Huh? Yep. It is. It really is. So anyway, I would always taste yours before you put it in and add as you go the flavor because don't follow me today because my taste buds are off because I have a sore throat and I have an earache and I don't feel good. So, yeah. But I'm excited. Catch you guys in the next segment. Okay, okay Harry. Are you ready? You got your muffin mitts on? I'm trying okay. to be good today because Wendy's feeling <clears throat> crappy. I'm so feeling lousy. I'm trying not to give her a hard time. Careful, right. careful. That's pretty full of water. Right. Careful, it's hot. Right Here we go. Okay. Your scepter, sir. Thank you. We'll take your little doohickeys off. Ready. Easy peasy. Just gotta be careful of the hot water dripping down. Wendy said I got some into the one of the things yesterday. 
one of these. You did. It dripped in there. It's the one I gave you. I gave you that one, honey. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you drip water in it, it tag. That's it's yours. Me. That's because she cares. Yes, right. I thought you needed a little fluid. Mm hmm. Thought you need a little fluid. That works so nice. Doesn't it? Yes. Thank you, everyone who suggested it. I think everybody either did it or figured it out at the same time. Yeah. For round two, just set it right there. Let it get cooled off. Yeah, you do okay. So now, do I have? Can you check to see if I have any gloves in there? Right there. And, oh, yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, it's my turn. Trade ya. Get me a glove. Hand me a glove. I don't want to touch anything. Thank you. Don't touch me. Do, 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 do. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try to, we have a little um, torch, but he can't use it because there's no propane propane in it so i'm just gonna take or butane some me. of this swerve which is very moist it's butane. my dad it's very moist what is it i'm just gonna it's uh swerve brown sugar yeah, if you want i can go see if i can find some uh butane trying or to smoke shop for... is there a smoke shop nearby um because i don't smoke i don't i don't know anyway i'm just gonna put this on and then if harry can find some It'll be like creme brulee. I don't know, you guys, if this heats, if you can caramelize it like you can regular brown sugar or melt it a little bit anyway. I don't even know how much to put on here. I don't think I have enough on this one. My taste buds are off, though, really bad, because even my coffee hardly tasted sweet to me. I can taste the coffee and the um, perfect keto chocolate but the sweet is the problem, so my sore throat is affecting my taste and my nose, because my nose is stuffed, get, starting to get stuffed. Got a big torch. Okay, so I am gonna taste a little bit of this, just a little bit, because I don't know what this tastes like even. It's not as brown sugary. Really? No. You want me to go get it and see if it'll work? Yeah. Here, taste this. Oops. Oops. No. 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 Got to use the gloved no. hand. No. Got to use the gloved hand. Doesn't have that brown sugary taste. It kind of does, but... Oh, I know what I have. I know what I have. Yeah. Let me see. But Look. it works. Hey. You could use that like, actually, it's wait not bad. Yeah? It's my taste buds. Mm -hmm. Here, I think so. Ooh, not bad. Ooh. What's she doing? Let's do this. Let's just use the broiler instead. You sure? Yeah. I think all of these can just go. Can you lift these up off of the paper towel so I can get them into the broiler? Yeah. Let's do that. We're going to put them into the broiler, you guys. We'll be right back. We'll share. Harry's going to pop these right into the broiler. Wendy could hear you guys screaming. Put it into the, the broiler. broiler. Karen, I heard you, Karen. Uh, I heard you. screaming at it. I heard you, Shelly. I, I heard you guys. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I have a broiler. Why am I worried? Okay. Watch me. I am. I'm watching you. Into my dirty oven it goes. Right there, right? All the way in. All the way in. There you go. Like that? Yep. yep. Now. It is in. It is in. We'll come back when it is out. Right? Yep. They're smoking. Well, maybe they're supposed to smoke. Oh, put them, leave them in. Leave them in. <laughs> Just leave them in, leave, take them out, take them out, take them out. Let leave them in, leave them in. Let me see. In. Let's just leave that open and get them under there. Get them under there. I just don't want them to catch on fire because they're smoking just... Okay. Wait. On your mark, you set, go. Get them out. Get them out. Ooh, yeah. It did look Put them on. Yep, it did. Put them on. Or, uh, Caramelized them. Yeah. Ooh, there it did it. How long were they in there? Seconds, literally. Look at that, you guys. It did it. 
It caramelized them. I've got creme brulee. Woo! Look at that. So it, it worked. Well, it did. Now we have to taste it. But man, you guys, I wouldn't even close the door. I would watch them because they start smoking right away. And you saw how far away. They were pretty far from the broiler. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. You guys, look. Look at it really, look, it caramelized it. Woo, I'm like a little kid in a candy store because it's gonna taste like candy. Yes, indeed, I am so jazzed. I'm jazzed. And that's breakfast. Anyway, you guys, we'll be back when it's creme brulee, banana creme brulee or banana fosters, whichever one you wanna call it, but it's gonna be good. I wanna taste mine. Cause I just oh, can't yeah. stand it. I can't stand it. You know, one thing I did notice about that brown sugar, it's got kind of a spearmint taste after. No, you know what it is? It's a cooling effect. That's with Swerve has a cooling effect. Mm. And so that's why I put stevia with it because yeah. the stevia um, kind of counteracts that. But let me get a hot pad out because I, I can't stand it any longer. I can't. I gotta have one. I gotta have one. These little hot pads, you guys, I know they look kind of crumbly and everything, but you guys have your favorite hot pad, like your favorite in the whole wide world. These are perfect for me. Okay, let's get some with the creme brulee topping. Let's get some with the creme brulee topping or banana Foster's topping. Mmm. <laughs> you guys, this is so easy. Easy peasy. Pick it easy. Delicious. Mmm. Smells like banana. Kind of smells brown sugary. It's got the cinnamon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crunchy top. Oh, I could, I could hear it. How is it? Is it good? Does it work? It is very good. It does work. Boy, don't leave it in Not the as good line. as creme brulee, but yes, indeed, it will do. It is good, you guys. Ooh. Amazon delivered it at 8.30 last night, rang the doorbell and ran, and it was my swerve. So I was all excited about that. Mmm. Mm -mm. And you taste it all good? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're yeah. good. You're good. I'm glad I put more sweetener here. I'm gonna get a hot pad for you and I'll trade you places. Okay. Here's my other favorite little hot pad. <clears throat> You're touching all my spoons oh, and everything. Oh, I did. I'll did. do it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're trying to do social distancing here in a house where we have no social distancing. Take the one right there. You're looking for one with the creme brulee yeah. top. No, they're mine. You cannot pick yours, buddy. You're eating with an ice cream spoon. Okay, let's see, let's see. Now Take find a... Right Fine. there, right there, right? But, yeah. Are you looking through the screen? Yes, I am. I'm looking through the screen. Mm. Go all the way down to the bottom because you've got to have it from the bottom. You can't just have the top. Ooh. Wait, look who's here. Don't don't eat it. Look. Oh, she's, oh poor baby. She's just, oh, but Papa, you've got minute. something. You're right in front of the window here. you gotta got to come this way. How yeah, about if I go over here? Now smell it. What does it smell like? Kind of smells like it. Doesn't it? Uh-huh. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's very different. Yeah, isn't it? But do you like it? Yeah. Doesn't it kind of creme brulee-ish? Oh, yeah, I like with it. With the topping? Oh, I like it's it. crunchy. The topping's crunchy. One more. Smell, smell. Mm hmm Banana? Mm hmm Can you take... Mm. Harry's just gonna shovel it in now, folks. Hey, Harry, what do you tell people? Gotta eat now. You guys, as much as I wanted the creme brulee with the with the caramelized topping, I don't really care for the swerve topping. It is so off. The taste when you first taste it is spot on, and then it's got this funky, yeah, cool, minty weirdness to it. So for me, I'm scraping this off because I don't like the taste. Now inside the custard that I had it with the stevia and stuff, that tastes perfectly fine, but I would rather just use a cap full of a skinny syrup, the salted caramel or the caramel flavor and pour it on there. 
um, and let it set up with that on it than this because I don't know if it's because I have this head cold taste thing going on, but I don't like it. So all I'm going to do, excuse my thing, but I'm just going to scrape these little pieces off because it's just, it just don't, it's not me. So it's a win if you like swerve and you don't mind that cooling taste, but for me, I don't care for it. There. This has got, this is all the, um, this is all the cinnamon that I had on it. And what I like to do is just take um, the salted caramel or caramel flavored skinny syrup. I just take a capful, just a capful, and pour it around. It sets up really nice. And you guys need to make it your way. What you might want to do is make your batch and use one. Uh, with the uh, swerve on top. Now, I know there's other brown sugar replacements. So if you have one that doesn't have that minty coolness taste, try it and see and leave me a comment and let me know because I would love to know. I just don't care for that flavor very well. So I'm going to taste this with my, ooh, now see that really smells good too. I must have a taste. Yeah. So much better. I really like that. Really like that. Yes, indeed, I do. So you guys, mm, see it's got a little skinny syrup in that spoonful. Yeah, it does. Mm, mm, mm. That's a ticket. I'm knocking the rest of that off. See you guys in the next segment. So Harry, I just cleared yours off. I just put a capful of the uh, vanilla caramel cream on it. Taste it and tell me if you think it tastes better or the same. I like the smell of that stuff. You know? Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it tastes much better. Uh, the other stuff is like I said, it has like a spearminty flavor to me. Yeah, it didn't go with the banana at all. Yeah. I mean, there's still some on here. But it tastes so not, much better with it. anything, but this I, I like this better, I think. Yeah, me mm -hmm. too. That's good, don't you? But think? everybody's gonna have to try their own thing out. And see. Right, right. See what they like. See us see us in the next segment. What you doing? Wake? Yeah, we all just took a nap. We all just woke up, huh? Oh, you guys, Harry and I just got through tape. Sally, Harry and I, pardon me, pardon me, Sally. We all just took a nap. It was wonderful, but you guys, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling it today. And I got my, my little red house dress on. No makeup, slippers, sorry. I am making some savory chicken soup because Harry had a keto shake. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything cold. Mm -hmm. We ate all of our custard at room temperature and warm and, and cold. So I'm going to make another thing of my soup. It was absolutely delicious. One thing I am going to have to do, Harry, is make bone broth today. Because okay. this is so good. I just, I love it. It's just so re delicious and filling. Just put some water in there. Harry, honey. if I put water in here, you're not going to explode it because it scared me to death. She I, jumped. I, she, she jumped out of the couch, man. Yes, I did. And you're lucky I didn't have something hot in my hands. You guys, he will not let me see what he's doing on these videos because he wants to get my reaction. Oh, my gosh. Heart attack time. I'm going to put some warm water in here, and you are not going to explode this, right? Promise the people. Yeah, I won't. I won't do it. I already did it. You already did it. So I can't do it again. So don't Scared worry. Don't death. worry. He'll figure something else out, though. I just know it. <sighs> that just gives it just enough. Let me put this behind you, honey. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here. Does your head feel all stuffed up? Yes. Like it's uh, going to explode. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I do. I, my sinuses are all messed up. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to get two scoops of my savory chicken soup and uh, put it in. One, two. I love this stuff. It's just so nice just to be able just to make it super easy on the fly. Mm. Put a little bit of garlic in there after I stir it up a little bit. Mix this so easy. So easy. Easy peasy pick it easy. Which for me right now is perfect. It's my throat. My throat is giving me grief. Well, when he's got grief throat. I've got grief throat. <laughs> a little bit of garlic. Because I like my garlic. You know what? Maybe I'll throw some chives in this. Do chives count? Let's get a little bit of chives in here. Just a little bit of chives. Now, if I weren't on our fat, well, are we on? Well, yeah, we are. I'm doing it an extra day. Yeah, I don't know why. Because I don't feel good, it makes it an excuse to not cook anything except custard and soup. I was going to put some mushrooms in here, but I don't want to wait until they get um, reconstituted, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll come back when it's soup, you guys. Just got to heat this up, and then we're done. Go, what are you doing? I'm gonna put some hatch green chilies in there. Oh, you know, that'd be good for you. Won't it be? Let That's me see. That's a good idea. Seven servings, two tablespoons, three carbs. I think I'm gonna put some chilies in there. Just to give it some spice. Change the flavor up a little bit. One. Good. The idea is to try to stay keto. Okay. Really, right? With us? Yeah. When but you're sick. I'm, yes. Absolutely. And that's hard to do because when you feel bad, you always you want, want your comfort foods. Yeah. So I think that'll I think that'll be really good. I just need to find a little container to put this in for the next time. And I think the green chili will add a little bit of zest to it. It'll help my sore throat. I usually crave Mexican food when I don't have a good. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I feel like my I'm, I feel like my. It's because you like to burn. Go, I do. I want to burn out the cooties. Got to burn them out. Burn them out of your throat. Hmm. What? There's a lot in that little jar. Yes, there are a lot in this can. This is the can from Costco, so they're larger than the smallest ones that you get in oh, your yeah, store. Oh yeah, look, it's taller. It's taller. It's got like twice the amount. But I think this will taste really good. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. Just add it, just a little zing, a little pep. Do you have our little keto chow cups? Got my keto cup well, chow I, cups. I kind of figured that you were going to need them. Yes, I do. Can't see any of the green. Now I put. What cheese. do you mean? It's a little. No, those green are spots the green spots. Are the chives that yeah. I put in? Oh, chives. Oh, chives. Chives tarragon. <coughs> yes. Great name. And I'll put this in the refrigerator for the next batch. But I gotta make some, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take out some Good name for a movie. celery, frozen celery, okay, carrots, no. and you, chicken. That's, tearing the refrigerator I'm apart. I'm making messes. It's for my keto uh, bone broth, chicken bone broth, man. I'm gonna make some. What else do I got in here? So we had some um, chicken wings, 
naked chicken wings and they gave us this, so I just threw it in the container to come home, threw them in the freezer because they're gonna go in my bone even, broth. Even the uh, carrots? Yeah, carrots are fine. We're not gonna eat them. We're just gonna use them for flavor. We're gonna drink them. We're gonna use them for flavoring. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ooh. Oops, I burned the bottom a little bit. Excuse me. Wonder why it did that. No, I don't know. Set too long, probably. Yeah. Maybe the chilies. Could have. Never seen that before. Want some chilies in mine. It fell to the bottom, so you're right, it could be chilies. Chilies, chili, chili. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Looks delicious. But how's it taste? Ooh, it's nice. Got a little bit of the chilies in there. Oh, yeah, that's good. Put some cheese in there on top. Oh yeah. Little sour cream. Oh yeah. That is really good. Where's a spoon? Grab a spoon for yourself, Harry. Got it. Here you go. Get a little bit of green chili on that. Careful because it's very hot. It's very hot. Ooh, I like, the I like that better that than good? yesterday's. Yes, because of the chili. Oh, yeah. All you need is some cheddar mm. cheese in that, a little dobble of sour cream. It's good just the way it is. Don't get me wrong. It is. Anyway, you guys, I'll put your spoon there. Okay. We're having keto chow savory chicken soup with hatch green chilies for lunch. Got a drink now. That's right. I am ready. I have got gloves on to keep this totally sanitary. I don't want Harry getting sick. Where's the mask? I don't have a mask. <laughs> Sorry. So I got the bag of chicken put in, okay. and Harry realized the battery had, was going to die on the camera. So yeah. I can't take that back. But that's that bag. That's this size bag. Yeah, it was full, man. Uh, yep, exactly like that. Uh, Did you chicken. get all that in here? Yeah, because I let it defrost. All oh, right, yeah. so it wasn't all. When you let your vegetables defrost, they're mushy. Doesn't matter, just stick them in. They're gonna get really mushy. They're anyway. really gonna get mushy. What all are you gonna okay, use here? Well, so I have mushrooms back here. More carrots, celery, sliced garlic, onion, garlic powder, onion, vinegar, pepper, parsley, Bay leaf poultry seasoning. Okay. I'm gonna get some of my mushrooms. Look at these beautiful mushrooms, you guys. Beautiful dried mushrooms. So I'm gonna get a couple different kind of the fungus. A couple big pieces of fungus among us. I like that they have a whole slew of different ones in here. And mushrooms really add flavor and depth to the sauce, don't they, Harry? Oh, oh yeah, fine. they're good. As long as they aren't that big, ugly, I don't like them. Marty! Darn, mushrooms. Ding, ding. Darn. I didn't say nothing he wrong. He hates the Bella, the big cap ones. Well, these you don't eat. These just give flavor. Oh. oh. Flavor. Flavor. Here's a button. Yeah. Okay. Got my mushrooms in. There's hardly any celery in here. Hardly any at all. I'm just using the whole thing. Wow. We'll use this for grease. Yeah. Sure will. Um, remember, we strain all this so the vegetables you use, you're just getting the essence, the broth of them. I'm putting in a tablespoon of carrots, and this is carrots and red peppers, bell peppers. Um, I had a little bit of red bell peppers, and I kind of put them in there. What did, what did you say, essence? Yeah, little essence. Today's word is... Harry. Essence. Ooh, I'm gonna be spank you. Here. Garlic. Mm-hmm. 
And you guys, I use dried vegetables because they take up less space in my cupboard. They work perfectly for this. And um, yeah, I don't want my vegetables to go bad. I don't have room in my freezer to freeze a whole bunch of frozen vegetables, but you guys can use frozen chopped onions and things like that. I'm just gonna put a, another teaspoon of onion in there. I have a bay leaf and a few small ones. I'm just putting those pieces in there. Don't you have to find those? No, it's no right. because it's all strained. That's right. Okay. Very good, Harry. Very good. I'm getting good at this uh, cooking stuff. Yes, you are. I'm going to put a teaspoon of peppercorns in again. They're going to be strained, so I'm not worried about it. I like Oops. Oops. I like to taste a fresh pepper. As long as it's not the glass part like you dropped last time. Shh. Oh, that was a mess. You're cramping my style. I couldn't tell the difference between salt and glass. Yeah, you're cramping my style. Sorry. Cramping my style. I tell What's that? This is um parsley. Oh, the uh. Green. It's the greens. Now you guys know looks. I ran out of my turkey rub, but I've got some McCormick organic poultry seasoning that smells really good. Mmm, smell that, Harry. Ooh, yeah. Can mm -hmm. you guys smell that? Mmm. <laughs> uh. Oh, the dog. Ah. Oh. It's the That's mail the lady. lady. Oh. You all right? She's gone. You chased her away. All right. You may continue now. <laughs> <laughs> She's just pretending. I know. She's yes. a big guard dog. That's yes. her job. Okay. A uh, teaspoon of granulated garlic. Because who doesn't like garlic? Some of you guys don't, but I love it. So I, I I'm going to put, I'm going to put a teaspoon of, because I like my bone broth to taste as good as soup. So that when I get a bowl full of this or a cup full of this, I don't have to do anything to it except open it up and eat it. Okay, you need salt. You guys need salt in your diet. You need salt in your bone broth. I put two tablespoons of salt and I use good whole salt. This one's real salt by Redman. It's unrefined mineral salt. And, or I use pink Himalayan salt. Yeah, we got it down at the bottom of the comments if you guys can't find it anywhere. And then you guys have to use vinegar. Use uh, organic, raw, and unfiltered apple cider vinegar. You get three of these for the price of one Bragg's. Uh, yeah, get, Bragg's the, get those at Costco. Costco. And I use three tablespoons. You cannot taste the vinegar. It adds richness and flavor to the broth. And it breaks down the bones and pulls the cartilage and leaches the minerals absolutely beautifully. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. Using approximately, now, if you have distilled water at your store, I would get a gallon jug of it because distilled water is 100% neutral. It will help leach the minerals out of the bones. It will help pull the minerals out of the bones. You're not supposed to drink distilled water because it will leach minerals. It will look for minerals in your body. But after so you put them in here, after you put them in here, it pulls the minerals out into it, so you get more minerals that way. Yeah. So it works wonderfully. Wonderful cook cooking, bad for just straight drinking. Right, right. You want if you're going to have distilled water, you have to add minerals yeah. and electrolytes to it. So this way. So that it doesn't have anything to look for. It has it. Just that so we right. can't find any distilled well, water. Well, everybody here in right remember we live in Arizona, the senior citizen capital. Of the U.S. Yeah, so they, right everybody's, now, everybody's got a CPAP and they're yeah, all exactly. looking for distilled water. Yep. I don't know what it is, but every time I go to buy distilled water, it's been empty. So. You know, we have a thing that makes distilled water. You know, we bought it years ago in Washington. We have no place to hook it they up here. We have a here. water purifier, you mean? No, it's a, it's, it's a thing it's a like this tall. It's a it No, it's got a filter in it that, uh, that takes all the minerals out of the water. That purity one? Sorry, hit the sink. Yeah. Oh, the purity one. Yeah. That you won't hook up. Well, I can hook it up. 
count in one. I would. When you, they took away my, they took away my um, plumber's license. license, so I can't hook our hook it up for you. I'm sorry. There is a fill line. If you look, maximum fill line. Now this is not an Instapot. This is a pressure cooker XL, but it's just like. It's right there. It's just like an Instapot. I try to go just a little bit below it. There you go. Okay. It would take, well, it would take it all, but I don't, I just, no, I have this need thing to. about going all the way to the top. So and She has a problem about going all the way to the top. Of the Instapod pressure. That's what I just said. Harry. That's what I just said. Finish your sentence, Harry. You are being a butt ski boo today. Now you want it to be pressurized. You want to make sure it's locked? Come over here. Tommy. And I go to canning. Yes, mistress. And I adjust the time. I get it for two hours. There we go. It's all done. done. Yep. Is that it? Yep. That's it. It's going to go. So how long is it going to take? See? There Oop, it goes. It goes, huh? It's going? It takes about three hours. Because it's two hours to cook. It, you know, it flash takes time. Is like, flash is like we're watching a sci-fi movie, isn't it? Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go lay down. I think I'm going to have a cup of broth when it's done. If I have anything else, it will be on our menu, uh, <clears throat> what I ate yesterday, tomorrow. But you guys, I'm really not feeling good. Harry and I took a nap with Sally, and I just took my temperature, and it's elevated again. So I just took some Tylenol, some vitamin C, D, K, a bunch of, bunch of vitamins, and I just want to lay down. My throat is sore, so I don't think I should be talking. So you guys, you talk you in your sleep. She talks all the time. This woman just talks, talks, and talks, and talks, and talks. What about you? <laughs> Boy, the last two days, Harry's just been. Anyway, you guys. I found my voice. We did. Yeah. Yes, you did, because I'm losing mine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, if you like what you see, please remember to like. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up this way. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you right here. To oh, wait, wait. What is tomorrow? Come here, Harry. Let's get this. Let's get this. Tomorrow is Saturday. It's an 18-hour fast. Two meals, no snacks. Take your collagen. Take a hike. I'm not going to Chalice and David's because I don't want to get anybody sick because I don't know what I have. Um, hopefully, it's not contagious. Anyway, you guys. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Did you do the thing? What thing? Yes, I did. Did you? I did the thing. Wow, where was I? I did the thing. When did you do it? You making fun of me, that's why. When did you that's do it? That's why. You were making fun of me. I'm not telling. I'm not telling. No, sorry. You know, people don't really think you're like this, but this is you. <laughs> this is exactly how you talk, how you act. Of course it is. Yes. You're not going to follow me and show people my slippers and my bag and your house rent. Yes, you are. I can feel the camera on me. Oh, I saw that. Shame on you, Harry. Shame on me.